Hi, I'm Chris and I'm a Christian Science Chaplain working in Marin County in the state uh, prisons and uh, county jails there. So I started seeing an inmate in the men's uh, section of the jail about, about a couple of months ago, I guess. He just returned from the hospital. Um, he had attempted suicide from the uh, second floor uh, landing of the of the jail there. He, he had leapt off and landed on his head. Luckily, he survived and had recovered and uh, by the time he saw me was doing very well and had had reached out for some help. You know, before I didn't know him before, but I think this this individual had been uh, pretty sad, obviously, to, to attempt suicide and had attended one of our services on the Sunday before. I hadn't, I wasn't in that service, but he had specifically requested a Christian Science Chaplain. So I knew he was looking for some new answers and some new thoughts to, to help him shape his, his life. Well, I first uh, met with this individual, a uh, really nice guy, young guy, didn't have much of a religious background, um, didn't really know what he was looking for, I think, uh, but clearly wanted to, he wanted to get kind of a better idea of, of who he was and, and what life was all about. One of the first things we did, I got him a science and health and a Bible because he, he didn't have either of those. We started talking about science and health. I had him read the chapter on prayer, uh, which he read, and we had, he had a lot of questions about prayer, and we talked through a lot of those. And then we really spent a lot of time really uh, focusing on identity and kind of who, who we are, right? And I think like a lot of us, he struggled with that whole concept of who am I, you know, what am I doing in, in jail? How did I get to this point? Why did I commit suicide? So we, we started working on that and science and health was full of a lot of really good ideas that really back, back some of this discussion up. And one of the first changes we saw was he was moved out of the special housing unit uh, into a, 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 better, a better pod, a better cell pod, um, had more privileges, was out a little bit more, had a little bit more freedom, uh, became a, a pod trustee, so he got to work and uh, had a little bit more um, responsibility in the pod, which was a really good sign. Well, one of the other signs that we were kind of seeing progress in, in his uh, spiritual growth was he had a, when I first met him, he had a pretty alarming scar on the top of his head due to due to the fall he'd sustained, and that really started healing up very quickly. Um, the, uh, within really a couple of weeks, it was almost not noticeable uh, through his hair, and he wasn't complaining about it anymore, he wasn't rubbing it, and so I think he was grateful for that, for that physical relief as well. In addition to that, he's, uh, he's been recon reconciling some of his differences with his family members, which is great. His girlfriend, who was also incarcerated, um, just just got out of jail this week. Uh, she got out early, interestingly, and uh, she's coming to see him now. And they're talking about some of the issues that and some of the ideas that he's been learning, which is great. And uh, so I think he's really on an upward uh, trajectory. He seems to be, um, you know, loving what he's reading and hearing and talking about and taking it forward and making it part of his life.